everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Bucker Designs. I've got a really fun card for you today featuring the ice cream swirl bundle. This is in our uh, 2024 spring catalog from Stampin' Up. Um, you can see my little cone is kind of poking out, but it does go flat. The reason it's poking out is because I put some money in there. Kids love money, and so I made it just a little... Um, a little pocket to put money in there. This die is really cool. It's designed to fold in half to make like a tag. Um, so I, I mean, you could just use that as a gift tag, you know, punch a little hole up here, um, tie it to a gift, but I put it on a card. So I'm gonna show you how to make it. There's several little things I did in here. The sentiment is from Happy Labels. Um, I wanted something just small, and so I went with a yay. That could pretty much cover all your bases. All right, let's do the ice cream first. We're gonna watercolor, and when you watercolor, you need uh, stays on. Stays on is not water-based. Whoops, I forgot that part in there. Um, it's not water-based. It's uh, gonna not smear when you use water on it. So you wanna use this when you are watercoloring. All right, so I'm gonna stamp it on watercolor paper sure I've got good contact and then I'm going to use a water painter and I've got my little silicone mat here um, we've got about a week left in celebration and if you haven't looked at our offerings in celebration yet you really should um, this is part of the glass mat kit you can get for free um, if you buy the starter kit all right so I've put some bubble bath I've got a dimensional backing floating in my water. Man, I find those everywhere. <laughs> All right, I've got some um, water here that I'm gonna add to my bubble bath re-inker to just kind of um, dilute a little bit. And then I'm just gonna use, I, the water painters come in three sizes. Your package will have a, a real fine uh, skinny tip and then there's the medium, which is what I'm using. And then you also have this real wide broad brush, which is great for doing kind of like backgrounds and stuff. So I'm gonna do just, you know, a full coating of our little strawberry ice cream here. And then I'm gonna take some and I'm gonna add every other swirl. I'm going to go down and make it a little bit darker than the other swirls. Now, ideally, I'd probably give this some time to dry in between coats, but it's a video, so we're not, we don't have time to do that. I just added another drop in there to make it a little bit darker. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna go down every other swirl. Let's see if I can remember which ones I've done. There we go, like that. And you might wanna just add some dark down around the bottom edge because there would be kind of like a shadow there. All right, so give it some time to dry, come back in, add some more uh, layers. You'll have different contrasting. I'm gonna set that aside for now, let it dry, and we'll do the other parts. Um, we're gonna stamp the cone. If I can get my piece picked up. We're gonna stamp the cone in crumb cake. And you wanna give yourself enough space on your paper for your cone, you know, to cut the whole thing out. Now, if you're not making a tag, you can just stamp it, cut this part out, and then snip the other part off. But we are making this tag, so we're gonna do it on this longer piece. All right, I'm gonna stamp right down here, crumb cake ink, crumb cake cardstock. And we'll run that through the cut and emboss machine. But before we do that, let's do our other stamping. I am going to stamp a strawberry in memento black. And I'm going to stamp the little, what are these things called? They're like a cookie straw. They're so delicious. I always get them at the Froyo place. We'll stamp them also in Memento, we're gonna do two of them. One, two. And then we'll stamp our sentiment down here in the corner. We're just gonna cut this out like a rectangle, nothing fancy. Okay, let's see. The other thing that we're gonna do is cut out this frame. Actually, let's color this first before we cut it out. I'm gonna use uh, Real Red for my strawberry. So I'm gonna start with light, real red. 
I'm gonna put a full coat of that. Now I use Memento ink this time. Memento ink is a water-based ink because my markers are alcohol ink. So you've gotta remember Memento for your alcohol markers stays on for your water coloring. I'm just gonna add kind of a dark shadow over here. Now I wanted to use Garden Green and we don't have Garden Green Stampin' Blends. So I'm just gonna use this blending uh, blender pen and let me open that back up. And I'm just, it's like a little marker tip and it'll pick up your ink. We'll add that to the strawberry, okay? And then our cookie things. I wish I could remember what they're called. I know you guys know, they're so delicious. Crumb cake. I guess it could be a real straw too, right? You could color it like a straw, but I'm thinking of those cookie. I need to look that up so that I know the name of those. I buy them sometimes at TJ Maxx too. They have them over in their little food area. All right, and then I'm just gonna take my dark and add a shadow kind of down the side and then just up these little skinnier ones. Like that. Okay, now we're ready to cut. So we're gonna cut those out, but the other thing I was telling you before I realized I forgot to color is that we're gonna make this frame. I am using the largest um, uh, scallop contour dies frame for this, and then the largest radiating stitches frame to go right in the middle, okay? So let's do that first. That may make sense to some of you, but I've actually had some questions how I make the frame, so I thought I would show you guys. All right, clear plate on top, and we'll run it through. You can make a frame like this by nesting any of your dies, circles, squares, you know, the sky's the limit. Okay, so there's our frame. Save your white piece for something else. Now let's do our ice cream cone. Let's see, can we do our ice cream cone along with our other things? Possibly. I'm gonna use my post-it tape to hold that in place. If you don't have post-it tape, you guys, you need to get it. I have a link in my Amazon finds page, it's at the top of my blog. Um, Post-it tape is my favorite non-specific crafting tool. It is, whoops, and I should have used it over here, shouldn't I? It is like the stickiness of a post-it note and it will not tear your paper and it's fabulous. All right, there we go. Run it through. Okay, there is our ice cream cone. And see it has a score line, so you can just fold it in half. Then we've got our strawberry and our cookie straw. And we need to do one more cookie straw. There we go. And we'll save that because we got to cut that out. And let's bring over our, our swirl, our star, the actual ice cream, and we'll cut this one out. All right. Now I'm gonna do one more thing to my cookie or my ice cream and I need to grab some grid paper. I'm gonna take my dark bubble bath marker and I'm just gonna flick some ink. This just is gonna give us some more variety on our ice cream. I'm also gonna take my Wink of Stella and go down some of those darker swirls to add some variation. Okay, let's put our card together. 
I have a pool party card base and I have cut a piece of the Up in the Air Designer Series paper. Um, four and a fourth by five and a half, so it covers my card front. There will be a free PDF on my blog for this. Whoops, look, I cut it too short, didn't I? Okay, well, we'll do this one differently. It should be four and a fourth by five and a half, but that's cute too, right? All right, now for our frame, let's get all the little doodads poked out. The free PDF has the measurements and supply list as well as two other ice cream swirl projects. Ice cream swirl, I feel like, is one of those stamp sets that you will get a lot of use out of. Birthdays, summer cards, there are just so many options. All right, so I'm gonna put dimensionals right here on our frame. And we'll put that right in the middle. Isn't that paper fun? Okay, bring over our ice cream. And let's put our little cookie straws right here with liquid glue. And I'm gonna do them kind of in a V like that. We'll put a dimensional right on top. And put that right there. Now, I forgot to tell you, and I won't go back to do it, but if you wanna make the pocket, get another piece of crumb cake and just cut it out like this. And then you're gonna put glue on the three sides to make the pocket, and you just glue it right there at the bottom of your ice cream um, cone. All right, dimensionals again. We'll put this. Here, this, here. And now I'm gonna put dimensionals, one on the bottom and one, let's actually put it on here so we know exactly where it needs to go. Like that and like that. All right, and then our little yay, all I'm gonna do is take my scissors, if I can find them, here they are. And we're gonna cut straight and straight so that you just have a rectangle. And we'll put that right there. Now you could leave your card just like that. Let's get all these out of here. But I have been trying to take my cards up a level lately. So let me show you what I did on the inside. I have taken a piece of basic white and we're gonna adhere that, just four by five and a fourth, right on the inside. I'm gonna use some of that DSP that was left over from the piece that we cut for the front. And I'm gonna put that right there. I'm gonna take my strawberry and stamp it right there. All right, so then we'll just color it the same way. Let's see, that's dark, that's light. And then you have room for your message. light, dark, and again, let's see, do I have enough green left on my blending brush? I do. And there you go. Taking your card up just a notch. All right, you guys, there it is. Make sure you click the link here on YouTube to go back over to my blog. Let me know what you think, um, and let me know if you have any questions. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.